Hi there everybody, hope all is well today. I'm out shooting with the Panasonic S5 Mark II. And before you go out and get this camera, there are three things that you really need to know and think about. So the first thing that you really need to know about is the rolling shutter in this camera. It's not horrendous, it's actually better than the Sony a7 IV and for the price you can't actually get a, a camera with better rolling shutter for this price. However, if you compare it to something like the Sony a7S III, the rolling shutter is a, a little bit worse. So if you do a lot of fast paced action, you probably should wait for the next version of the S1H which probably will have a faster read speed. So another thing that you also need to know about the Panasonic S5 Mark II is how it handles in slow motion in 100 or 120 frames per second. I've found out that the autofocus isn't as reliable and as in the other modes. However, it does work okay, but it's not as good. So if you tend to use uh, a lot of 100 frames per second or 120 frames per second, this could actually be something to think about because autofocus isn't as good, in my opinion, in the 100 frames per second as of right now. But of course, as you can see in these clips, it actually works pretty good at times as well. Is this something that they could improve in firmware? Hopefully they can do that, but as of right now, you can actually see a difference between the autofocus in uh, 25-30p uh, compared to 120p. So the third thing that you really should know before you get this camera is gonna be the 100p and the image quality of it. It's still 10-bit, which is really, really nice. However, I've seen that it's much noisier than in the 25 and 50p. So for me, none of these three reasons are reasons to why not to get these cameras. However, they could be reasons to why wait for something like an S1H Mark II. However, I would probably believe that that camera will both be bigger and heavier and much more expensive. And there is probably no, no competition right now at this price point that does rolling shutter and 120 better than this camera. So there's actually not much to do about that. So guys, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe, give it a like, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. See you soon and bye bye.